Hey, welcome back to another installment of me trying to memorize Evangeline. Um, this might be my last installment, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, with meter magic spiral each month we do, we focus on a different meter and this month we were focusing on dactyls, which is why I was memori memorizing Evangeline. Um, next month, so August will be Amphibrax. So I will probably be memorizing something in Am Amphibrax instead, but honestly, um, a lot of limericks are in Amphibrax. So maybe I'll just memorize a limerick and then it's like five seconds and I'll be back to memorizing Evangeline. Who knows? Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what I end up doing for the month of August. So... I'm st I'm really I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. I'm really wobbly at some of the endpoints, but I did feel like as I've been doing run throughs and working on memorizing the other parts, when I would go through and do the whole thing, I was able to um, focus on the meter at the beginning and read better because I wasn't trying to like remind myself what the words were. Um, so that was kind of fun and cool. Um, I don't watch. I'm gonna do. I'll, it'll be terrible or something when I read it. I, I, we'll see. Should I try to keep my eyes open? I've been closing my eyes. I'll try to maybe I'll keep my eyes open this time. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm going to close them. <laughs> okay. This is the forest primeval, the murmuring pines and the hemlocks, bearded with moss and in garments green and distinct in the twilight. Stand like druids of eld with voices sad and prophetic. Stand like harpers whore with beards that rest on their bosoms. Loud from its rocky caverns, the deep-voiced neighboring ocean speaks, and in accents disconsolate answers the wail of the forest. This is the forest primeval, but where are the hearts that beneath it leap like the roe when he hears in the woodland the voice of the huntsman? Where is the thatch-roof village, the home of Acadian farmers? Men whose lives glided on like rivers that water the woodlands, darkened by shadows of earth, but reflecting an image of heaven. Waste are those pleasant farms, and the farmers forever departed, scattered like dust and leaves. When the mighty blasts of October seize them and whirl them aloft and sprinkle them far o'er the ocean, not but tradition remains of the beautiful village of Grand Prix. Ye who believe in affection that hopes and endures and is patient, ye who believe in the beauty and strength of woman's devotion, list to the mournful tale still sung, list to the mournful tradition still sung by the pines of the forest, list to the tale of love in Acadie, home of the happy. Book the first. In the Acadian land on the shores of the basin of Minas, the, li the, the little village of Grand Prix. Nope, no. Nope. Ah! Okay, hold on. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, I'm starting over on this, on the, uh, I think of it as like the second part, but it's, it's called, it's the, First book, it's, you know, past the little intro um, prelude sort of thing. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. In the Acadian land on the shores of the basin of Minas, distant, secluded, still, the beautiful village of Grand Prix lay in the fruitful valley. Vast meadows stretched to the eastward, giving the village its name and pasture to flocks without number. Dikes that the hands of the farmers had raised with labor incessant shut out the turbulent tides, but at stated seasons, the floodgates opened and welcomed the sea to wander at will or the meadow. West and south, there were fields of flax and orchards and cornfields stretched afar and unfenced o'er the plain. 
and away to the northward Blomadon rose, and the forests old, and aloft on the mountains, sea fogs pitched their tents, and mists from the mighty Atlantic looked on the happy valley, but ne'er from their station descended. There, In the midst of its farms reposed the Acadian village. Strongly built were the houses with frames of oak and of hemlock, such as the peasants of Normandy built in the reign of the Henrys. Thatched were the roofs with dormer windows and gables projecting over the basement below, protected and shaded the doorway. There, in the tranquil evenings of summer, when brightly the sunset lighted the village street and, and gilded the veins of the chimneys. Okay, that's the section that I had worked on. Um, learned my lesson. I need to shut all other windows. Um, I don't know if it came across on the video, but I got a notification on something. Um, I also need to stop touching my eyes. There's a lot of eye scratching going on. Um, anyway, that was my run through. Um, I'm tempted to also do like a Facebook and Instagram live kind of thing um, to try to do a live, another run through. Um, so if you follow me on those um, platforms, you can check and see if I did that. I'll do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, cause I was kind of unhappy with the way I like stopped in the middle. Um, try not to be a perfectionist about this though. Trying to just like, it's cool. It's chill. Just memorizing the poem. Um, so <laughs> thanks for stopping in and, uh, keeping up with my progress as I try to memorize Evangeline by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow.